developing strong study skills, and without reaching their full ability through homework and other outside assignments. Shock is the best description for their experience in college courses when they find themselves overwhelmed by a mountain of outside classroom work that they should have been properly prepared to do during the K through 12 years. Well, K through 12 is weird because in elementary school, they're just getting you through the basics. Middle school, they're kind of doing the same thing, but it's a little bit of both. In high school is when they prepare you for the real world and when they start <clears throat> to do these other, when they start to give you work to prepare you for later on. Um, but yeah, you can't just not give homework because there's probably a combination of stuff you couldn't be able to do in the classroom, stuff that you meant to do outside the classroom, um, long projects that will take um, weeks to complete. So, I don't know, this is necessary. This is good. This is good. As much as I don't like it, this is good. Did I miss anything I wanted to say? Shock is the best description, too. Because college is nothing like high school. You can talk to my brother, who is loving college. Most students in demanding colleges have learned throughout their lives to evaluate their priorities and to... I really don't know that word. Is it? I think it's pronounced meet. And to meet out and balance their out-of-class time between academic expectations, including homework, on the one hand, and non-academic activities such as sports, participation in clubs, employment, and time with family and friends on the other hand. Yeah, in high school you learn this too, because people are in their drama club, they're doing three sports a year, they're doing drama and band and key club and interact and all these other things that they have to give their time to. You do the same thing in college. No, I'm, no, I won't go into that. But, so to balance all of these activities with the schoolwork is pretty important, especially in high school when the parents say, you're doing this sport. Like, I know for me, I was pretty much signed up to do soccer when I was about five by my parents. He said, Ben, you're going to do soccer. I, li I did, liked did, I liked the soccer I played, but I didn't explicitly sign up for it. The parents are telling me to do certain clubs and sports and activities. So, the parents are kind of to blame on that. Because they're saying, Ben, you have to do all this stuff. Ben, why do you have so much schoolwork? You won't have time for your other clubs. Ben, why do you have so many clubs? I like this system of me recording myself for you. Because I get to talk. Uh, reasonable homework assignments in the lower grades should prepare students for more rigorous and time-demanding assignments in high school. Without the right attitudes and skills, a student will be unprepared for a quite normal out-of-class assignments in college. That's a, I like that part. Reasonable homework assignments in lower grades. So that's why in elementary school we got worksheets and got to add things with counters and in other stuff we got to write stories or like how what we did over the weekend. Reasonable assignments for elementary school. Then there's reasonable assignments for middle school. Which is a worksheet here, um, a topic you have to write there, a book you have to read over here. That's reasonable. It's high school where things start to get a bit unreasonable. But, whatever. Preparing you for college. And pretty much that past paragraph I read is a continuation of what they've already been saying in this article. From President Obama to the heads of major corporations, from state governors and big city mayors, to the owners of small businesses, many American political and marketplace leaders 
are concerned with the quality of academic achievement and its effect on our ability to maintain a highly qualified workforce. Do the homework, get good grades, go to college, do the homework, get good grades, get a job, do the work, get paid, know your facts. That was nine things I just set off. But yeah, every, everything, everything is caused by, every action is an equal and opposite reaction. One thing calls it another, a chain reaction, butterfly effect. I remember that from this past year. Intelligent and creative homework assignments can build good work habits that should last a lifetime. I love um, intelligent and creative homework assignments. You may know this. Um, habits that should last a lifetime. Give students confidence that they can successfully work on their own and instill pride in workmanship through accomplishing difficult but solvable tasks. If you love something, you want to do good at it. I know I do. If I don't like something, I do a lesser job at it because I don't care. I do... I was going to use a bit of a curse word, but I feel like I shouldn't do that. I want to do as good of a job if I don't do something I like as much. If I like to do something, I want to do a better job at it, so I can relish in the glory of completing something that I enjoyed so very much and getting a good grade on it. All of this should translate into success in college and beyond that into success in the workplace. So, if you have intelligent and solvable tasks and creative homework assignments, that you like to do, you're going to do good at it in high school, in college, and if you find a job that you like to do, you're going to do good in that too. We could use more homework assignments, not fewer. Howard Schneiderman is professor of sociological at Lafayette College. Now, I'm not quite saying that more homework assignments is better, but not fewer is true. The workload, personally, I think the workload I'm getting, um, at least with this past year, um, I think I received a good amount. It might be slightly different because I had calculus, and then, like, government and German and biology. It was like, those three things, and then calculus. The balance is a bit tricky. So, but, um, yeah. More homework assignments? I don't know. Possibly. But, as a student, I'm not saying more homework. But definitely not fewer. Especially giving these reasons up, it's preparing you for college and work. Well, that is the article. Um... I agree with this. I especially like the headline of Students and Parents Should Stop Complaining About Homework. Parents don't really have a right to complain about homework. And when students complain about homework, it's just like, ugh, homework. Ugh. Disgusting. But depending on which grade you're in, you do the work. Just like, ugh. I hate this homework. Done. There you go. What's this in A? Alright, 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 alright. It, it was easy. It was easy. That's kind of the story of students complaining on homework. But this was a well thought out article. It was well done. The reasons are there. Um, yeah, homework. Homework should not be... Lessened. I was bobbling through words there. But, yeah, parents, stop complaining about homework. Alright? So, I think I've put enough words in there. This is going on 20 minutes, or going on 19 minutes. And, yeah. I will see you 
this year. So, ben Hoover signing off.